one of the entertainment industry's titans, their mother has spent decades establishing a prosperous career that includes several noteworthy hits and a lengthy tenure on NBC's beloved comedy series Saturday Night Live. The 54-year-old actress and writer got married in 2001, and she and her husband, a 63-year-old comedian and composer, had their first child in 2005 and their second in 2011. The family has lived in New York City, the home of SNL and several of their mother's other well-known endeavors. The girls were recently cited with both of their parents at the star-studded U.S. Open tennis event on Saturday. The girls have been included in their mother's projects and have motivated her creatively. At the ages of 18 and 13, can you guess who these second-generation stars are? These are Tina Fey, 54, and Jeff Richmond, 63, S. Kids, Penelope Athena Richmond, 13, and Alice Zenobia Richmond, 18. Following their June 3, 2001 vow exchange, the couple welcomed Alice Zenobia on September 10, 2005, and Athena on August 10, 2011. Faye was a major contributor to Saturday Night Live as an actress and writer, appearing in 144 of the sketch show's episodes while serving as a regular from 1997 to 2006. In addition, Faye wrote the screenplay and portrayed Ms. Norberry in the successful 2004 Lindsay Lohan movie Mean Girls. The musical version of the film, which debuted in theaters earlier this year, was also written by her. Alec Baldwin, Tracy Morgan, Jane Krakowski, and Faye co-created and starred in the 2006-2013 comedy series 30 Rock, which was based in New York. Earlier this year, Faye discussed how her children have influenced her creatively during the Mean Girls musical film premiere in January at AMC Lincoln Square in New York City. Faye admitted, I used to run things by the kids sometimes. Casting is one example. Another is, should the burn book stay a book or should it be a private Instagram account? They respond with something like, no, it's a book. It's a book. In a 2012 episode of 30 Rock titled Mazel Tov, Dummies, Faye portrayed Alice, who turns 19 on Tuesday, as a seven-year-old version of her mother's character, Liz. In 2020, Alice made another appearance on the program's A One-Time Special. Faye called Alice the funniest person in the entertainment industry and gave her credit for coining the show's catchphrase, I want to go there, when she accepted awards at the 2009 Screen Actors Guild Awards. In April 2018, Faye claimed during an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon that Alice had expressed interest in becoming a filmmaker and that she and her younger sibling had created a short film titled But Show. My daughter sold it to Netflix, Faye joked. There was a part for a nine-year-old and I was like, if we don't let her apply for this, she's going to murder us, Faye said in June 2021, showcasing her younger daughter Penelope on her Peacock sitcom Girls 5 Eva. Faye stated that Penelope had auditioned and taped herself, but she was hesitant to offer her the part. I refused to allow the boss's child to be hired on the first interview. Penelope was cast in the part because a child actor was unable to do it because of travel limitations related to the pandemic. She did an amazing job and she was very professional, Faye said. It was a small treat for her after a somewhat depressing year of distant schooling and other things of that nature. Occasionally, Faye's comedic style has offended other celebrities, such as Mean Girls co-star Lindsay Lohan and celebrity singer Taylor Swift. According to a representative for Lohan earlier this year, the actress, who played the part of Katie Heron in the 2004 film, was deeply offended and dismayed by the reference in the 2024 musical picture to the phrase, fire crotch. During a holiday-themed scene in the show, Megan Thee Stallion made a joke, saying, Y2K fire crotch is back. Lohan made a brief appearance in the production. The term alludes to a nickname that socialite and oil heir Brandon Davis gave Lohan when he appeared with Paris Hilton in a paparazzi film in 2006. Later, the sentence was removed from the digital version of the film, according to a February report from a source. The joke Faye and co-host Amy Poehler spoke about Swift's love life and how her previous high-profile romances had been mentioned in their material before the 2013 Golden Globe Awards caused friction with Swift. Swift who was 23 at the time, was advised by Faye to stay away from Michael J., Fox's son, and to have some me-time to discover her own self. 
Polar then encouraged Swift to go for it. You know, Katie Couric is one of my favorite people because she said to me she had heard a quote that she loved that said, there's a specific place in hell for women who don't help other women. Swift expressed her displeasure with the remarks to Vanity Fair in March 2013. Later, Polar said to the reporter, Ah, I'm sorry if she was angry. She's a young, gifted girl, and I'm a feminist. Having said that, I acknowledge that I will burn in hell. Nevertheless, for different reasons. Mostly dull tax information. 